Today we're going to be patrolling in the north um, before we could even make it up here. We're in route to get up here. We got a call that the uh, tactical robbery unit and the patrol officers up here had a car stopped. Um, they were brandishing weapons and right now I think I believe they have about five different weapons um, up here and several subjects. So we're going to go now and check out what's going on. Hey, Officer Giordano, what's going on? Hey, how are you? What's going on, man? All right, let's take a look. What's up, Officer Dude? What's going on? What's up, Nick? How are you, buddy? What's up, Dude? What's going on? What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? One of our officers was driving by uh, a Maserati with three males hanging out of the out of the, out of the car, just showing the guns out the window. All right, so brandishing so the firearms. We got five firearms. We got three Glocks, an AK, and a rifle. All the shootings in the city that we've had lately it's guns like these that are killing our young kids in the city so it's good to get these off it's a good job and that's one of the uh advantages of driving around in an unmarked car correct sometimes you ride up on uh yeah on stuff like that and it they often don't see happens. you coming from a mile away so it uh it works to our advantage when we're out here all right well good job guys and now where do these guns go Right now we're going to take them to the proper unit and uh, send them over to the Miami-Dade Crime Lab to see if uh, any crimes have been committed with them. They'll test them for ballistics and DNA All right. and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, good job. Didn't even get to start yet. I was headed over here, I got the call. <laughs> good job guys. Outstanding. Outstanding. Officer Giordano. Hey, what's going on guys? What's going on? Gio. Well, we couldn't even get out. Couldn't even get out, man. All right, so let's go here. You want to go meet up at the North Station and do a proper introduction? I think we should. Let's All right, guys, we're going to head over to the North Station. So, guys, as you saw last week, Officer Giordano went on patrol with Officer Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, we was up here. At, but who just happens to be sitting back right here. here. And she's sitting back there for a reason. Uh, matter of fact, the day after you vlogged, yeah, you want to tell them what are. happened? Yeah, so the day after we vlogged, there was an armed subject in a vehicle that rammed right through the gate into the back wall and put the car right into our back wall. Yeah, so at 7.01 this morning is when he breached the rear gate. So we have video surveillance that, that shows us that he meant to go through the gate and it was not uh, an accidental breach. Uh, he did also um, plow into the district, the, the building itself, the structure itself. I feel that uh, after watching the video, uh, I'm incredibly proud of the way that the officers of the North District handled it. We had a, a, a sergeant who was in a police vehicle who immediately followed him in, pinned him against the, the wall there so he wouldn't be able to back up if he wanted to. The officers inside immediately approached the vehicle, weapons drawn, and, and uh, thankfully no one was harmed other than the driver. And it appears that his, his injuries were, were limited as well. Yeah guys, so it's unknown right now the reason why they went back. All we know for sure is that they were armed and they went and crashed into the wall. Yeah, very scary situation. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's say hi to Officer Rodriguez. Well, it's sunny, but I don't, I don't want to make you look in the sun. Hi! So, Officer Rodriguez, tell me what you're doing here today. I'm spending part of my shift back here uh, guarding the back gate at the North District Station. Unfortunately, we had someone that rammed it and broke it. So what I'm doing back here is making sure there's no vehicles that are not marked police vehicles or unmarked police vehicles entering or exiting um, the rear gate. So you're here all shift? No, I'm only here for a few hours. Someone's going to relieve me um, about in an hour and a half so I can go back onto patrol and uh, enter calls for service. All right, well, we're going to be out there, so we'll see you out there. All right, see you there. Bye. All right, guys, so second vlog up here. Uh, today we're going to be uh, going along with True, True, yeah. PST, uh, Patrol, different units up here. And the reason for that is uh, the North End has had a recent rash of shootings. Um, there was even a shooting where a child died, a four-year-old child. Very so, you know, we take, we take shootings very seriously here. Um, and especially if there's a child that their life is taken. Today, uh, we're going to 
patrol the area of the north end a little bit of model city a little bit of little haiti there's a lot of different units uh up in the area you have true pst matter of fact model city Another. pst they, 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 they doubled it up they they got two they got two units now but it used to be one pst team that had three days off now they have another unit that covers those days off so they have seven days a week coverage for a pst team up here yeah, and as a matter of fact we see a pst team over here what's up guys what's up brother how are you what's going on what pst are you guys we're work on little haiti pst little team haiti two. team two all right and what are you guys doing out here well with the recent shootings that happened here in the Model City area, we're just helping out the other PST teams, helping, uh, you know, with some of the issues in the community. All right, well, we'll see you guys out there. We'll be out there. Take All right. Go. Look, take a look, guys. This is where the, uh, as you saw in the video, this is where the car drove in. It's already uh, fixed. Just got to throw a little paint on it. Yeah. Solid, too. All right, let's go pick up the car. True's lending yeah, us a uh, marked unit. She was lending us a mark unit. Well, I'm gonna go ride two man with Nick today. We're gonna go pick up that car and get on patrol. Let's go. All right, guys, so that's the car we're taking, 2013 Ford Taurus V6 engine. Uh, it's the, the cars that uh, they use out on patrol. Uh, as you saw the last vlog, Officer Rodriguez is driving a similar car to this one. So let's go hit it. Gio, you ready? Ready to go, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so buckle up, let's buckle up. And uh, as you guys saw saw a couple of uh, comments down in the comment section last vlog asking about what kind of computers we have. As you see here, it's the Panasonic Toughbook. Reason why we run these computers, um, you know, as the name says, they're tough books. There's a lot of uh, heat in the cars. Sometimes it gets cold. Uh, these computers are made to withstand the elements. Um, they're working computers. All right, so I'm gonna log in and we're gonna hit the road. the chopper up in the air the mobile command center out here what's up Nick what's going on how's everything I'm officer Hector Herrera I work with the office of emergency management all right so what's going on here what do you guys got going on not much. We're set up a CP here for the uh, to address all the operation for the community reference to shootings. Yeah, a lot of our resources out here, right? Yes, plenty of resources. Plenty. So we set up the command center, and this is where everyone responds to. This is the the, the hub where everybody comes to turn in paperwork, complete paperwork. Uh, brass comes, meets the chiefs, uh, yeah. commanders, media, everybody comes. So up here. obviously, we're taking it very serious. Yes. Taking yes. this situation very serious. All right, well, we're out here as well. Thank you, take care, be hey. safe out there. All right, take it easy. Be safe, good seeing you. you. All right guys, so as you see, the mobile command center's out here. Uh, we're taking this very seriously. Chief Kalina is pulling out all the stops, getting all the resources out here to help mitigate and stop the gun violence. You know, we got officers, proactive officers out here trying to conduct stops, traffic stops, high visibility, and hopefully make some arrests and recover some guns and recover some weapons and let people know, hey, we're out here and we're not playing any games.
Yeah, so um, yesterday we had a peace walk out here. Uh, basically, some of the community leaders, um, some of the church, uh, Miami-Dade County Police, and us uh, came out together uh, along with our um, city mayor and some commissioners to show that we're here for them and we're here with them. So, um, you know, and that that's followed up by a high police presence, uh, proactive police units out here trying to, like I said, uh, curve this, this gun violence that's going on. So tonight, again, we're out here, we're looking, anything out of the ordinary, and uh, trying to do our part. So let's continue rolling. Mail shot. Mail shot. At Miami and 6 7, Miami and 6 7. Miami and 6 7 got a mail shot. We're gonna listen for the photo now. All right, we got two males with guns. It could be related. This could be related to that. We're on Second Street, Second Avenue. Right now. We're about to pull up on the area to where they should be at. Hey guys, we're gonna go by that 38. Uh, two males with guns at one and five nine. We're gonna arrival at two and five eight. You see anybody with pistolas? Aquí? No? There's uh, units. Hey, you guys see anybody with guns? You see anybody with guns running through here? So right now we're looking for two males with guns running around this area. 6171. I'm at uh, Northwest 158. Can you give us some description of the possible shooters? Two black male juveniles, black hoodie, and one with blue jeans, shorts on. Correct, and the first one was a black hoodie and blue jeans, shorts. There's no description on the second one. Kill some hog ass. No, they're not. That's not. So what happened was uh, 332 mail shot. Um, they gave out the address. The thing about Little Haiti, there's a northwest and then a northeast. So there could be the same address in northwest as northeast. So on our way over to the mail shot, the call went out that there was two males running with guns, and we were, we were going to drive right by that area. So uh, a couple units were about to arrive on the original call of the mail shot. So we took it upon ourselves to canvas the area real quick because it could have been related um, in regards to the mail shot. Uh, we looked, we asked for a description, we checked the northeast side as well as the northwest side. We didn't find anything. And then uh, the original units that arrived on the mail shot call, they couldn't find anybody shot and they checked both sides as well. So they're working on a call back now and uh, they're gonna see if there's indeed anybody that's hit. But for now, units are canvas in the area. We're gonna head over back to the uh, Model City area and uh, meet up with uh, True. I just heard on the radio, they got a car stop with uh, two firearms. So we'll be there in a second. All right guys, we are arriving. What's up, man? What do we got? So I stopped this Cadillac. It was uh, speeding. Yeah. Ran the tag. No uh, tag of signs. Belonged to another car. I stopped him. Asked for his license. He's habitual. And he had a gun. All right. Looks like a, was that a Glock uh, 27? 26. 26. So uh, he had no uh, permit for it. The female was a passenger. She also had a gun with no permit either. 
So uh, they're going to jail. All right. So what's the difference between a regular suspension and a habitual? The habitual makes it a, a felony. Oh, so you got you're going to jail. Okay. All right. I'll let you work. Okay. Good job, man. You got it. Busy night, option new. Very busy. Seven guns. Seven one guns. Night. One night. Always a outstanding. Go, outstanding job, guys. Officer, do it, sir. All right. Season two, SWAT log right here. Yeah. Way back. <laughs> hey, so um, can you explain a little bit about what happens after you guys find the guns? All right. So basically, once the guns are recovered on scene, we're gonna run the serial numbers and make sure the guns aren't reported stolen or anything like that. After that point, they're going to be collecting evidence bags. We're going to take them down to the city of Miami property. At that point, it's going to be taken into the lab. We're going to fill out the paperwork. It's going to get sent off to the county, Miami-Dade County Lab, where it's going to check for ballistics hits or knifing hits or any involvement that the gun might have had in any crime. All right. And then uh, what if it does come back stolen? If it comes back stolen, at that point, we're going to do a recovery of the firearm, which basically we're just going to go in the system, report that we found a dislocation, whoever we found it with. At that point, take it out of the system, and it's also going to go to City of Miami property, where the victim of the stolen gun can eventually pick his gun back up. Awesome. Obviously, it's going to get sent to the lab regardless to right. make sure it doesn't have any hits on it. Okay, perfect. I appreciate it. No take it easy. You too. All right. So part of the efforts um, is to team up with the neighboring jurisdiction, which happens to be Miami-Dade County, and in Miami-Dade County. They have a unit that is that mirrors uh, True, uh, which is pretty much the same thing. Undercover vehicles, uh, looking for robbery cars, um, people that robbery suspects, things of that nature, proactively policing. And uh, they monitor the True channel as well as we monitor their channel because we work closely together. A lot of times uh, there are calls where we show up uh, and then they show up. So. Uh, right now, we got word on the True Channel that they have a car stop with a uh, possible AK-47 inside. So we're headed up now, uh, just up the road, and we'll be with them shortly. Guys, uh, Rid is on the scene. Um, True just cleared. They headed out to go on another traffic stop, so we're gonna stop here, and then we'll head out again. Just want to show you guys uh, the robbery intervention detail from the counties out here as well. This is our jurisdiction. Like I said, it's a collaborative effort. Uh, right now, they have two weapons, two weapons that they are dealing with. A couple subjects. Uh, they have one detained for now. So uh, here, as you can see, we got an AK. 47 magazine with some rounds a Glock 23 40 caliber again with uh, some rounds we're gonna take off hey be safe see you, bro. good job man no, take it easy to be safe so these guys right here um, they're working with us working alongside with us helping uh, mitigate this issue that we got going on so no collaborative effort that's another two guns true got seven so that's a total of nine guns tonight uh, a couple rifles so we're looking good. We're going to continue moving on. Still got a little bit of time left in the shift, and hopefully we get some more. Let's hope.
Go drink and drive. So guys, as you see, it was a very productive day. Uh, our resources are out here trying to make a difference and coming across nine guns and getting those guns off the street is a uh, big deal. Yeah, it's huge, man. It's a very it's big, big deal. Uh, like we said, especially since the recent tragedies that's been going on, um, we're pulling out all the stops and trying to make it happen. So, uh, guys, with that being said, I think it's that time. It's that time. End of the shift. That's it. Time to go home. All right, guys. You know the drill. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next vlog. We're out. Take care. Adios.